My presentations will be about uh, issues related to uh, efficient and safe design of refurbished and upgraded large hydropower structures in Slovenia. This presentation was prepared also with my colleague uh, Anton Bergan from Litostroj Power. So the agenda of the presentation will be a short introduction with a basic overview of uh, Slovenia hydraulic, of hydrology in Slovenia and the layout. Also, we will talk about uh, hydropower plant layout in Slovenia. The next important topic, which is an underlying topic of this presentation, is the problem of water hammer in hydropower plants. There will be a short introduction on water hammer and how we control water hammer in hydropower plant systems. Then we will move to case studies. We will talk about four case studies of upgraded and refurbished hydropower plants. Also, one of them is new, the Brezice hydropower plant. Some of the pictures presented in this, in this presentation you have already seen today, so uh, you will be familiar with it. So this is a basic overview of uh, Slovenia. The Slovenian, uh, Slovenian territory is, uh, very, has exceptional relief variety and diversity with location between Alps, Dinars, and uh, Pannonian lowlands. Predominant are torrential rivers with short lengths. This is the picture on your, the bottom, shows the two major river drainage basins in Slovenia, the Adriatic and the Black Sea drainage basins. So the Black Sea covers 80% of the territory with the major inflow coming from the Austria to the Drava River. We can also see that the majority of the precipitation is located in the northwest of the country. This is the layout of the Slovenian hydropower plant. We can see that the gross hydropower potential is almost 20,000 uh, gigawatt hours per year, with uh, technically available potential is about uh, 900, 9,000 gigawatt year, gigawatts year, gigawatt hour per year. The current exploitation of the hydropower layout is 25%. Uh, the exploitation, ac according to the rivers, is uh, seen here with the Drava, Socha, and uh, Sava River. You can see here the <coughs> general the layouts of the general power plants on the Drava, the Sava River, and the Socha River. So we come to the problem of uh, water hammer. Uh, water hammer are, is also known as transients. In what is water hammer means that these are pressure surges when the liquid is moved from one direction to another or stopped. We can see here a simple schematics of the water hammer. We have a reservoir, a pipe, a valve, and we can see if the valve is shut down we can see a pressure surge moving across the pipe in a positive and also in the negative direction. Our main task is to identify water hammer, predict the values of these transients or pressure surges and to prevent them. We can see here some example of uh, accidents caused by excessive water hammer. We have a penstock collapse and here we have a burst uh, pumping uh, casing. Both are the results of excessive water pressures. Our aim is to control transients, water hammer. We can, uh, uh, the in hydropower plants, transients are the classified as normal, emergency, and catastrophic. This is according to the probability of uh, these events and also according to the magnitude of the, of the magnitude of the event in related to the pressure values. The goal of transient control is to provide safety of the power plant and personnel, to identify most severe conditions and adequate measures, and to establish design limits. It's very important that we have interdisciplinary knowledge between civil engineering, mechanical engineering, and also electrical engineering. These are some of the cases of water control, water hammer control, which have been used 
on projects in the past. Here we see an additional flywheel to reduce overspeed. It's on the generator. Here it is a search tank which was constructed on a hydropower plant in Costa Rica. Here we can see the servo motor connected to the guide vanes of the turbot for appropriate guide vane closing time to make sure that the pressure and pressure in the pan stock and speed rise are within design limits. Here we can see a turbine inlet valve with the attached uh, closing mechanism to cut off the discharge to the turbine. And here we can see a pressure regulating valve in action for bypassing discharge away from the turbine. Oh, and additional here we can see all of the used uh, water hammer control uh, actions in relay, they are classified when we use them, if they are protection against high or low pressure, reliability, special demands for each of them, if there is problem in, with restarting of the unit, frequency of application, and of course, the cost of each of the water hammer control scenario. The water hammer software model that we use, we use a commercial uh, software package developed in uh, Switzerland, Simpson where hydraulic elements are modeled as RCLR, R RLC mo uh, electrical circuits according to impedance method. <coughs> you can see here the model of a pipe and the corresponding electrical model. For hydraulic machines, which are very important in our work, we model using steady state characteristics, also known as hill charts, where we turbine characteristics, we use them in form of unit speed, unit discharge, and unit torque. Again, we can see here a hydraulic model of the turbine with the corresponding electrical model and a schematic of a hydraulic machine uh, characteristics in the unit speed, discharge, and torque. We will move to case studies. First of all is the case study of Plave 2 hydropower plant. It is on the Socha River. It's exploiting the <coughs> available hydropower potential of the existing Plava 1 hydropower plant. Tunnel boring method, tunnel boring machine method was used for tunnel construction about 5.5 kilometers, 6.5 meters in diameter. And what is uh, interesting that a, a search tank is used in a Kaplan turbine configuration. Here we can see an example of uh, hydraulic transient modeling. We can see a comparison between two models. One is a simplified, where two search tanks on the waterway are the modeled as one. We can see how we model the each pipe section with the turbine section, the inertia of the rotating machines, regulating values and head wat tail water level. But here we can see a detailed section, detailed model, when we model also the connecting pipe between two search tanks with an overflow of each search tank is also modeled. Current version of this software is able to model also differential search tanks with overflows. So this model would be even more detailed if we use the new uh, version of the software. This one was as expected, uh, more precise than the simplified because it took into account the inertia in the connecting uh, pipe between the, t between the tunnel and the search tank and the uh, comparison between measured and uh, computed values were very good. Next case is the Zatolice hydropower plant on the Drava River. It's a channel type hydropower plant and the largest in Slovenia, it's 160 megawatt capacity. It has a long inflow and an outflow open channel. There is also a special pressure regulating valve that controls the unsteady flow and attenuates channel pressure oscillations in the intake channel. It is constructed 
parallel to the turbines, the pressure relief valves are here. And we will now see a video of this pressure relief valve in action. We can see again from the beginning. So we can see very violent uh, discharge from the turn, from the uh, from the intake channel. This is bypassing discharge. need some help because I think we are mm -hmm. stuck here unfortunately Lahko prosim tehnika poiščete, kolega. Zdaj, da ga ni. Zdaj dela in nešto ne radi. Aha. Ah, sorry. Here we are. Sorry for this, uh, this interruption, sorry. Something, you had a problem. Uh, this is uh, another case study of uh, Moste hydropower plant. It was the first hydropower plant on the Sava River and designed for peak energy production. The arch gravity dam from concrete is the highest in Slovenia. There were uh, severe landslide problems and all the equipment that was modernized. So one turbine unit was taken out and only two installed. The plus one unit is the unit uh, which produces energy from the Završnica intake. Here we can see the influence on the, of the landslide on the generating uh, equipment, which was in effect trying to topple the powerhouse. Here we can see some comparison between computation and measurements of transient. We can see a very clearly a uh, guide vein closing scenario with during emergency shutdown. This is the speed rise of the unit. Here we can see the computation and measurement comparison for uh, turbine inlet pressure. And see, we, we can see the, the same result in a prolonged uh, time interval, which shows also the oscillation of the search tank, uh, which is also included in this uh, model. <coughs> the last case study for is the Brežice hydropower plant. This is a new hydropower plant. It's on the Sava River, which is the largest river basin, but it's only 13% utilized. There are unified design of the hydropower plants here on the Sava River for Krško, Brežice, and Blanca, Mokrica will be slightly different. What is interesting here that additional sewer works were, were needed for possible future tourist development of the area here in the uh, Brežice area. Here we can see a, 
the transient uh, during uh, emergency shutdown of the unit from 20 megawatts. This is a measurement of speed, the runner blades opening, the axial hydraulic force of the unit. Here we can see the, again clearly the guide vane closing time, the power of the generator rapidly decreasing during uh, emergency shutdown. Here is the also one of the simulation that was done with the model corresponding to the hydropower plant. You can see here also modeling the uh, hydraulic uh, axle unit and guide vane closing time pressure rise. For conclusions, hydropower presents an important contribution to power production in Slovenia. Conditions for construction of high hydropower plant schemes are not favorable in Slovenia due to different restraints. And water hammer control was presented on case studies of large hydropower structures in Slovenia. So maybe for final, it good projects are based on understanding and cooperation of all involved. Thank you.